going to play some more um, Elite Dangerous today. And as you see, um, I'm in my. I had my. Uh, hang on. I had my mining mining ship moved to um, where we where we moved to, and um, decided to do a bit of um, mining to try and make up for the what was it eight times three. 18, 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 24, yeah, um, <coughs> for the loss of the, the loss of the ships I freaking lost, by, uh, crashing into the, either crashing in or getting destroyed by that stupid station, <coughs> but anyway, we're gonna make this. We're gonna make some money off of this. Quite a bit of money, actually, which should. Um, ah, there we go. Gold and silver. Um, as soon as I filled, well, as soon as I filled up my cargo hold with more, with nothing but metals. Um, we're. Um, I'm gonna set off back to the station soon and try and do missions to get rid of what we've got, hopefully. This uh, this particular minefield, my uh, uh, um, metallic ring, is quite a few jumps away from our base of operations but um is that depleted already looks like it ah Come on, get closer. Now I'm probably going to get smacked by the asteroid now. Uh, nope, none of that's what I want. Now there is a way I do. There is a way just to freaking prospect. Um, you can just prospect the mine, the asteroid, and, and decide whether you want to do whether you want to um, mine it or not. But <coughs> I usually just shoot it. I shoot it, see what a couple of rocks come off. If there's anything like gold or whatever, I, whatever I'm trying to get. Um, Like that, gold and silver. 
that'll do. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, looks like that's all we're getting out of there. We find silver. Where's the planet? There it is. <laughs> no, just bin it. I'll put it in a piece of paper and bin it. It's fine. <laughs> Flowery sweets. Man. <laughs> it tastes like perfume. Oh man. That is funny. Oh, come on, give me something other than that. See what this has got. In fact, there's a couple of you. What have you got? That's uh, silver. No, no. Silver's pretty cheap. I'm not good for silver. I'll mine it if it's with something else, but it's not with something that I want to mine. So, like gold. I wish the Olympic mines, Olympic drones would last longer. Oh God! Talk about crap mines, asteroids. I really need to figure out how to do uh, deep coal mining. Got to learn how to do that. And that'll do. Let's see what see what this one gives me. Oh yeah, all right.
of materials in there. rid of some limpets then more powerful weapons you can't get more powerful mining lasers I just need to probably do that. Put more power to the weapons. Oh yeah, more yeah, more power to the weapons. Sorry, I'm, 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 it's been a long day. <laughs> I don't usually have full power on the weapons, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. It's been like I said, it's been a long day. And I hate. Uh, yeah, I usually have it balanced just in case I have to make an escape. Because um, I, I usually tend to forget to switch back um, when I try to run away from being shot at. <laughs> Although, we're almost... I think, well, we're not quite full, but, hang on. I have 76 limpets. Mm. I wish they would actually give me a bigger freaking mining hopper. Um, I, I think I've got the maximum mining hopper and it's just frustrates me having to freaking empty it of stuff that I don't actually want unless they've brought in a way to program the limpets only to pull what I want it to pull uh, let's check another one ah it's not it's not going to be giving me a lot is it I might. It's going to give me a pine eight, I guess. Hopefully it'll refine me one. No, that's not. Oh, magnesium. Mag oh, okay. I'm not sure. I, I know those, those minerals are used in used in repair it building stuff and that's something i'm gonna to have to get back into as well I, i've been away from this game for so long it's just not true so many other better players probably in this game now than me even though i got this one before it even became um 
I, 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 I was on the backing on the backers so it was like yeah um, that's my my actual goal now to, while in this game is gonna be um, gonna be to try and get myself a mega ship which is a long way off um, it seems to take me forever to make cash um, ah gold 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 please give me more oh yeah that looks so that looks good yep How many Olympic drones are we at now? 75. Alright. Um, we'll, 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 we'll wait till we get the... Um, um, cargo holders full and then we'll just close up shop and they don't head off back to the back to our base of operations and see if we can get some missions to get rid of some of this ore that we've got hopefully they won't give us big quantities wanted because like I don't have that I don't have large quantities of anything although when I did this before um, I did get a few decent um, missions for all requests and I actually fulfilled a lot of them which were pretty good I guess I could sell it directly to the market because I'm going to be traveling through about I think it's about six or seven six or seven um, systems before we get back to where we need to be I'm still still carrying um, Propaganda messages on my ship for uh, for my power plays. Come on, how close do I need to be? I hate getting so close to these rocks. Oh, and you're giving me crap. Show me what you've got. Uh. 
Wind, 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 wind. You know, I can't even. Did I? Did I take that? I can't remember if I took that off. I think I did. I think I took the prospecting module off my ship. Control unit. Not there now. I don't know what. I don't know. What. Did I swap it out for the, com the the docking computer? I think I might have done. Swap that back out. <laughs> oh. See, I told you, I forget to freaking give it the power. Mm. Come on, give me pie night, please. I know that's not there's not much coming off of there actually. It'd be nice actually, um now that they've got um the the, the ability to leave the ship it would be nice if you could actually um mine stuff on, on planets. I know in a, a previous incantation of this game, you used to be able to drop. Ah, here we go. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, smack. Oh, that. <laughs> just smashed into an asteroid. Ah, ouch. <laughs> it was completely black against the sky. I didn't even see that. Oh my god. <laughs> that took out my shield. Okay. I guess that'll teach me for um, using, using afterburners to try and get out of the, out of the ring. Oh, it would help if I set engines, engines up. There we go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, okay, um, huh? yeah, I can't remember what night vision, button for night vision was, I've never used it, um, I can't remember, um, Lights might be good. If I actually switch my lights on, I might be able to. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> if I put, yeah, if I switch my lights on, I might actually see stuff. I think that's it, innit, L? No, you can you can mess with the um, you can you can mess with the actual um, the keys. So I think it has, my landing my landing is actually on my key yeah, on my joystick. Let's hope I've got enough fuel to get back. I don't know if I've got enough fuel. Have I got enough fuel to get back? I don't have one on board. No. I should be okay. Let me just check, make sure I've actually... Um... Yeah, it looks like it's going to get me there. Yeah, it is. Oh, no, it ain't. <laughs> I'm going to be one jump away from that. Oh, that how, how, how cruel is that? Right, let me see. Um, let's hope that there's going to be a station where I can actually pick some up. No, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, I think. I, I'm, I'm hoping... Yeah, you dropped some... I think. Yeah, fuel in barrels. Oh, I need to turn that up if I overheat. Um, yeah, I think I think that's how we did it last time. It's fuel in barrels. I think the I'm thinking I'm thinking there's got to be a planet system on the way back that's got <laughs> that's got fuel. Oh my god! I don't think I'm gonna make it back. I should have picked some up before I took off from that system. You want to press system? Uh, yes, I do. Don't I? Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, here we go. There's got to be one here. Oh, what's that? What's that? Is that actually on a planet? The heck is that? Uh oh.
Let's get out of here. Let's go, go. How far away that is? Let's go over there. Let's hope this has got some fuel. My phone. So, somebody messaged me. Uh, oh, two. I like um, Super Cruise Assistant. It helps such such a lot. I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that they've got um, a landing pad big enough for me to land on here. Although I don't think I'm in. I'm not in a big ship. I, mean, I think I'm in the medium size. So they should have. They should have some medium size pads for me to land on. Just pray that they've got some fuel when I get there. Although that's a long way out, 1.1, light years away, LS, it's a long way out, it's going to take forever to get there. Uh, no, 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 we're not going there, that's just l way too far. Or is it? Oh no, okay. Thought it was far away. Never mind. Definitely too tired. <laughs> right. Can we have uh... What? Why? Why did they deny? Oh, are they full? Maybe they're full. Let's try again. Why? Give me a reason. Oh, they haven't got a pad large enough. Great. Great. Just what I thought was going to happen. Alright, let's get out of here, didn't think my ship was that big actually. <laughs> Nothing here. Oh, actually, this might this system here might have, have a, a have a station I can land at.
Oh, not. Oh, wow. And that's definitely too far away. Uh oh. <laughs> this could be interesting. I might, I'm going to have to get a, a few of scope put back on this when we get back to a station. Oh, allied power. That's a good sign. That's definitely going to be a good sign because that means that must mean that there's somewhere for me to land. <laughs> God. Um. Actually, let's move. Let's get moving first, because I don't want to get intersected again. Or at least, if I'm moving, it's harder for him to um, knock me out. Information. Uh, docking contacts. Repair. Okay, so the can't. Oh, right. Um, but it's not telling me anything about. Oh, searching. Okay. It's not telling me how big the how big the pads are. But we'll try it anyway. Let's go for it. We've got nothing to lose. Oh, that is way out there. It's going to take freaking 10 minutes to fly out there. Ridiculous! Some of the distances from the sun for the for these stations is like crazy. <clears throat> Let's listen to some news. Um, no, I want you to play it for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. The yeah. If I can find a carrier, doesn't seem to be. There don't seem to be anybody out here right now. Um. Yeah. Actually, I need to switch that back on. Don't I? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um,
complete sync. Oh, that's <laughs> that's a shame. You can't make, you can't, you can't, you can't create fuel. Oh, would, that would have that would have been a lifesaver. <clears throat> I'm surprised they actually haven't brought that. They haven't haven't allowed you to do that. You can actually create fuel for your SUV. You just can't create it for the, sh the ship you're in. Which, if you had the materials on board your ship, you should be able to make it. I guess because you can buy a fuel scope, they didn't think you'd need it. I'm hoping this pad's big in I'm hoping these are, these are big enough. Um, can I get, get any information off that? Nope. Can't view system. Not enough data. Can I buy data? Can't buy no data. Marcus Rashford. He got racially attacked last night on on Facebook and Twitter and stuff because we lost. We lost ten, eleven, ten on penalties. But then again, we, sh we shouldn't. Have, we should not have lost that match. It should not have come to a penalty. It shouldn't have come to a penalty shootout. I can understand the frustration of the fans, but getting getting personal and racist racist towards somebody is not a good idea. Yeah. Well. Um, Let's see. Not enough, not big enough pads? Yep, not enough big. Oh my god. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the, the one system that's away from the one that I need to get to, I'm hoping that they've actually got a station there. It's probably going to get to that last freaking stop and I'm probably just going to fluke out with a, a place to, to fuel up. How many more stops do we have? Come on, pop out. Eight more. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Um, you've been away quite a while. They brought in mega ships, P 
people can buy mega ships. These mega ships are just basically flying space stations. Um, and depending on what you actually, like I so told you, you need four four billion to buy one. Um, or roughly around four billion plus whatever, plus whatever it is, whatever modules you want on the actual ship. That they can cost quite a bit, and then you've got the upkeep, upkeep of the ship. I think it's weekly or monthly. You have to pay you have to pay out a certain amount of money to keep these things running. Um, they usually, uh, personally, I don't, I don't think a person by himself could actually run one. I think you need um, an alliance or a group of people to actually keep one running. Um, because it can be quite expensive. Okay. Um. Yeah. None of those places are going to be big enough, I don't think. Uh, yeah, auto docking is pretty cool. Actually, was there any? Was there any? Uh, um, let's check. Any carriers here? Um. Oh, there is. There is a place. Hang on. Let's go there. There we go. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, that's gonna take some time to get to. What the heck? Isn't the one closer? Oh wow, okay. I almost jumped out of here. Not seeing that. Oh okay, that might be closer. Is that closer? Huh, not by much. Huh. Hang on. Is there, a, is there a landing spot closer? Hmm. System looks like it's under... in conflict. There's a conflict zone here. In fact, there's three or four conflict zones here. I wonder if they're actually having a civil war of some kind. Hmm. Alright. Um, yeah. I guess we're going to be pointing in this direction for a while. Let's get Super Cruise Assistant working, because that's a long way out. Hang on, this one might be better. Let's go to this one. News time, I guess. Gathering public support to sway the assembly when it votes on the 27th of May. Attending the business sector conference on the planet industry in the sound system, Prime Minister Mahone stated, We've heard a lot of reactionary rhetoric from Councillor Kane, but it's much easier to be critical than constructive. She has done little to secure the prosperity of our people and companies, which was my primary focus over the last six years. At a protest march on New Caledonia in the Alcade system, Councillor Kane addressed the crowd. Again, the Thargoids lash out at our presence. Again, we prop up the other superpowers. Again. We pump money into Aegis and Lacon, but not our own economies. Nothing changes, unless Mahone is voted out and the Alliance takes a new direction. Opinion polls suggest that Mahone has retained majority support, but with a narrower margin than in February, when the it election is full power, I think. scheduled. Many agree with Kane that the Alliance should not it won't have participated go any faster, in the Galactic think. Summit, which led to the Nine Martyrs bombing. Yeah, it's slowly the building up. Bureau, which monitors all civil communications in the Federation 
has received a boost from the galactic community. President Hudson's campaign for additional data proved so successful that the PDB has dramatically increased the range of its surveillance. Deputy Director Bethany Blake of the Federal Intelligence Agency announced, We are now able to discreetly scan almost every private and public communications network used within federal systems. As a result, arrest rates have soared and several organized crime rings have been dismantled. Shadow President Winters' efforts to distribute methods of blocking the PDB received considerable support, but failed to eclipse Hudson's initiative. This was interpreted by the federal government as a mandate from the citizens to continue its surveillance program. Rhiannon Grady, director of the Civil Rights Organization Advocacy, told the media, Since the vast majority of citizens will never receive a visit from the FIA for their activities, the public has no sense of what they have lost. But history teaches us how hard it is to regain freedoms once you've given them away. The Federation has taken a large step toward becoming an interstellar police state with little regard for the individual. Mass Thargoid strike, emergency declared. Pilots Federation alert. Thargoid forces have invaded the Delphi system I'm gonna and pause the TV for that. California, Colsac, and cleared his nebulas. I, 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 I want to try and get at least back to where I'm going before I finish my video. But also requested assistance from anti xeno squadrons and independent pilots in combating the Thargoids. Shipments of Guardian artifacts were recently delivered to the Delphi system as part of an Aegis research program. Professor Albert Tesro has speculated that the Thargoids' world documented aversion to Guardian technology may be the reason why Delphi was targeted. Two starports recently constructed by the Kumo Crew Syndicate, California Freeport in the HIP-18390 system and Fort Zeno in the HIP-62154 system, are among those seriously damaged by the assault. Archon Delane, the Syndicate's warlord, announced, I'm not going to let these filthy aliens tear down what we've only just built. We need to teach them a lesson that even they will understand. All attacked stations have called upon the galactic community for help with rescuing their populations. Nova Imperium triumphs over Federation. Pilots Federation alert. That was interesting. Um, not the, the our guides. Um, I'm gonna actually try and set up for that. I wanna go and I wanna go and try out, try and I know I'm not very good at combat and stuff, but I'm gonna <coughs> I need to set up um, a ship um, to be able to go and take them on. That's gonna be they're they're not easy to kill. Um, you have to have a, you have to have certain weapons and things to be able to deal with them. So I'm thinking uh, eventually I'm gonna try and. Um, go out there and have a look at it. See, when I first played the Elite a long time ago, they used to just drag you out of um, hyper hyperspace. Mm -hmm. They used to pull you out. Yeah, and um, well, that's not that's not a Thargoid. These th these are aliens. The only aliens sit that were in the game used to attack you from. They used to sit in the void and pull you out. Of hyper jump between systems. Um, sometimes when they did that, you could end up on the other side of the freaking galaxy, um, which kind of amazed me sometimes. Um, but yeah, um, I think I'm going to try and set up a ship to actually go and deal with them. <coughs> Three minutes away. The conflict in the Parisa system has ended with Nova Imperium defeating the federal backed League of Mandu faction. Imperator Hadrian Augustus Deval has been targeted following accusations that he controlled the NNLA paramilitary group. He delivered a public address. Our hard-earned victory brings great honor to all who fought against the Federation's invasion. Their arrogance justifies our long-held belief that the Empire must stand apart from other superpowers, but Nova Imperium will continue to serve in the fight against terrorism. 
Memento Mordanticus. Ambassador Catherine Carlyle of the Federal Diplomatic Corps made this statement. Although we are grateful for their zeal in combating the NMLA, our intermediaries at the League of Mandu have acted hastily and will soon depart from Imperial space. Pilots who fought for Nova Imperium can now collect their rewards from Dyson City in the Parisa system. Pilots who fought for the League of Mandu can now collect their rewards from Harmony's shield in the Parisa system. Wow. Parisa conflict risks war between superpowers. There are widespread Ooh. fears that current hostilities in the Parisa system may force the Empire and Federation to declare full-scale war. Oh. The situation has been covered by mainstream media. The Imperial Herald, Hadrian might be the black sheep of the Duval family, but should he die by Federation hands, honor would demand retribution. Already the Imperial Navy is mobilizing in anticipation of the Emperor's reaction. The Federal Times, the evidence that Nova Imperium orchestrated the Starport bombings is credible, but the possibility of subterfuge remains. Could the NMLA really fake so many orders from Hadrian de Val to such a believable standard? I on Akana. An attack against a de Val is an attack against us all, even if he does turn out to be a terrorist. How dare those Fednecks try to judge our criminals for us? Seoul today. Hundreds of thousands dead, half a million wounded. Our people deserve retribution. But as usual, all the imposers care about is pandering to their monarchy. Paris and News Network, the death toll is soaring as full-blown battles rage through our system. Parisians are terrified at facing conquest by the Federation. Can we rely on the Empire to save us? Alliance Wow. So the, Feder the Federation and the Alliance could be going to war, the uh, Empire could be going to war. That's going to be interesting if it actually happens. Pick a side. Campaigns resume. The election of the Alliance Prime Minister will take place on the 27th of May, having been postponed due to the Galactic Summit. Vanya Driscoll, political correspondent for the Alliance Tribune, reported Prime Minister Edmund Mahone's decision to postpone the election for three months caused enormous disruption and mass protests. This may have mortally wounded his campaign to be re-elected as head of government for a second six-year term. With hindsight, it's clear that Mahone was prioritizing the Sirius Treaty, a detailed proposal to unite the superpowers against the Thargoids. Unfortunately, the Galactic Summit was prematurely halted by the Nine Martyrs bombings before the treaty could be agreed. Although there are several candidates, Mahone's only serious challenger is Councillor Nakato Kane. She has been a vocal critic of his expansionist policies and given much public support for her focus on boosting trade between alliance systems. No. Electoral votes will be cast by members of the Alliance Assembly, whose decisions reflect popular opinion in their constituencies. No previous Prime Minister has served more than a single term, so it remains to be seen whether Mahoney... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It says, but it's just said to me, main fuel tank low. Salvation. Pilots Federation alert. The enigmatic salvation has sent a message to the commanders who recently... But luckily, I'm going to a station right now. So hopefully I'll get every part of them out of fuel. After salvation provided an access key to read its automated SOS. Pilots were then encouraged to deliver any surviving logs to Taurus Mining Ventures at the Hindmine asteroid base in the Team Tower system. Patience Middleton, a representative of the corporation, announced, Salvation has authorized us to offer 2 million credits or 10 units of Void Opals for delivering the Hesperus's logs. This contract ends on the 21st of May 3307, after which payments will not be available. We have been asked to relay the message below. This is salvation. I call myself this as I cannot yet reveal my identity, but my scientific breakthroughs will literally save all of humanity. The Adamaster and the Hesperus were just the beginning, as I have always known. For my intrepid agents, there will be further work to come. Little is known about Taurus mining ventures, and salvation remains anonymous. Commanders are therefore being cautioned against undertaking tasks for a potentially criminal organization. 
Federation attacks Nova Imperium. Pilots Federation alert. Open warfare has begun in the Parisa system between Nova Imperium and the League of Mandu, a federal faction. Imperator Hadrian Augustus Deval has been accused of masterminding the NMLA starport bombings, according to evidence provided to ACT. Admiral Natalia Lee, commanding the Harmony's shield megaship, declared, The Empire refuses to arrest a Deval, even when he and his organization are brutal terrorists. In the name of the hundreds of thousands of federal citizens they murdered, we will enact justice. Hadrian Deval made an announcement from Dyson City, the home station of Nova Imperium. This invasion of Imperial space is based on false information. The Federation does not have the right to act as our judge, jury and executioner. I call upon the Empire to come to our defense, as stipulated in the Treaty of Parisa. Nova Imperium is an isolationist group that believes in retaining Imperial traditions and severing all ties with other superpowers. Hadrian Deval is the illegitimate... Right. Some interesting news. Looks like looks like the Empire and the, the, the Federation are going to go to war soon. But that's going to just complicate the situation because, like, um, the Thargoids don't care. <laughs> they don't care about um, the Empire or the Federation. They just want all humans dead. <laughs> so, so it, it, it'll it'll be like. Alliance and Federation attacking each other and then the Thargoids all just think well we'll just pick off the loser or the winner after it's all over Yay, I think we're going to make it. I actually saw a player the other day with um, green green um, smoke trails. Really? Yeah. The, he's bought it from the shop. There's, a, in, there's an in-game shop you can buy that sort of stuff from. The, the trails. Trails, you can change the colour of your lasers to a different colour. Um, yeah. And it, it came out of the station and it, I'm so used to white trails, all of a sudden there's this green one that shoots past me and I'm like, okay, that's a player. <laughs> it kind of gives you a way though, because if you, if, you, if you come out of a station and you've got a different color trail, it kind of says, I'm a player. <laughs> Although if I keep logging in enough, I'll be able to buy them anyway, eventually, if I keep saving up my, uh, I think it's AXUs, every time you log in you get some. Well, when you do activities like selling and stuff. Finally, we are here. I love automated docking. I don't have to worry about trying to slot this ship through that little letterbox. <laughs> Especially when it when you get to be when you get to drive a a, a barracuda ship or a, a, a whatever the, the, the well dolphins are small compared to the freaking big liners. Here we go. 
Am I glad to see this pad? First thing we're going to do, fuel up. Then we'll do some repairs. And we may as well actually look at... We may as well look at um, what missions they've got going on here. See if we can fulfil any of them while we're here. Um, oh, the game just crashed. Awesome. <laughs> well, I guess we're not going to see what's, what, what the missions are like there. It's a good point to um, uh, end my video for today. Um, I will play some more of this tomorrow. Yeah, it just crashed. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes it does that, especially after it's been it's just been updated, so it's it's gonna do stupid stuff. Um, well, until tomorrow, I hope you've enjoyed me watching me play uh, Elite Dangerous. Uh, I'm gonna play this again tomorrow. Uh, until then, I hope you all have a wonderful evening.